Ah, oh, shit, y'all. We got a matching pajama set and a chair this time. It's about to get real fab. Real quick. Today we are on our fourth video. I'm kind of the last video of last month to the one video I posted in November because it was like literally the last day of November. So really, it was supposed to be December 1st. So this is really our fifth video. No shy of the month. Like, what's up? What's up? What's up? I think that's my first time ever hitting five videos in a month. Really, this is my fourth video, but we gonna just... We're gonna pretend. I got my full outfit on. Everyone gonna get comfortable. And got my cute little fuzzy socks on. Looking just looking real camp on you. We got our fire started. Ooh. Warm. What's up, K my motherfucking babe mom? Ah, choo. What up, what up? So today it is another story time. Of course, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't even gonna give you guys no more story times because I had thought y'all was getting tired of them. It's no shame. I also don't wanna just be a story time YouTuber, but honestly. That's what gets the videos out the quickest. A lot of y'all said y'all wanted more story times and I was on the phone with Ricky a few days ago and we were just kind of talking about how like there's so many stories that I tell her that I never tell on the internet. Like I usually tell them on TikTok but I never tell them on YouTube because I just always thought that story times were a little too short. Like there wasn't enough substance in the video. There wasn't enough like info. Like I could have told y'all how I beat these hoes up but how did we get here? I am not gonna lie y'all. <laughs> I did hit a little bit of that gas and I ain't talking about a fart. So we just really gonna be vibing this video like and my lips do get dry so I got my water and I got my aqua pour. Let's get into this. I'm not gonna lie y'all. My last video I just felt like my energy was real low at the bottom but y'all damn with it so I need, and I need to stop cussing so much so I'm really gonna try to watch my cussing this video because um I have been getting demonetized on YouTube and uh, I don't know if you guys know this but I like making money and I can't be putting all these videos out and not getting paid. This basically happened in seventh grade. I can't remember if it was seventh or eighth grade. I'm pretty sure it was seventh grade though. And if y'all don't remember from one of my old story times, my punishment and like, okay, so. I'm just all over the place. I'm just so high. This is the story time about how I got into my first fight in middle school when I was real scary. And this kind of, I feel like this is like my main villain origin story. Like this really brought me out of that like weak bitch mindset and just put me in that like we all bleed like what's gonna happen. Like, you know what I mean? Like I still am not very confrontational. I'm not gonna go out and be looking for drama. But if it comes to my doorstep, I'm gonna finish it. But before this story time, like I was just always scary. I was running from all my battles. I did not want to have to fight anybody. I don't know, I was just scary. I guess I never was really into like play fighting and slap boxing. So I felt like I never knew how to fight. And I was like, what if I lose? I just kind of had to just shut the fuck up and mind my business. But this is the one time I did it. Okay, this isn't the one time I did it. But this is one of the times where I didn't do it and I had to learn the consequences. But really did I learn consequences because I'm not gonna lie, I won. So, you know, it's like whatever. <laughs> Seventh grade, I was always the kid that no one really liked, like none of the guys really liked because I was obviously the gay kid who didn't want to tell everyone he was gay. Contrary to popular belief, it wasn't cool back then, okay? It was a lot harder to be gay back then than it is now. I was either the boy no one really respected or liked because I was the gay boy. But you know, I had a lot of friends that were girls, but all the calls was fake. As soon as I walked into school, was on my head about me being gay like are you gay like are you sure you're gay like do you like girls like i remember i had this girlfriend right we was dating and i had a friend and i'm not gonna say his name either so we gonna call them a and r okay because y'all know who you are i was dating a and she broke up with me from my friend r so i just had to be eighth grade because he's a year younger than me so at our middle schools are only seven and eight and i remember he came up to me i was beef i was so embarrassed i was so hurt like i was supposed to be my for real and he was like bro you want me to tell you why she broke up with you and i <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I didn't wanna hear. So you know, I just that just gives you like a preface of what kind of person I was. I was hella loud, like everyone knew me, but did everyone like me? And this has like always been my personality, like being loud, being crazy. Like this is kind of like right when my social anxiety like started. So it wasn't as bad as it is now. Like I still had like no cool. So there was this boy that my cousin used to date, right? We gonna call him Fuck, I'm, no, I'm not saying that. Like, let me calm down. We're gonna call him Larry, right? I wanna test the waters. <laughs> I want to get messy. So his name was Robert, right? Gary and Robert. Okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling mixy tonight. The tree got me feeling messy, y'all. Buckle up. Gary's cousin Robert, and mind you, I was low key kind of scared of Robert because I was real scared of Gary. Like my cousin would tell me about how he was like fighting people and how like he would leave them just leaky, just profusely bleeding out that face. And she said that she had like cried because he beat this boy up so bad. So when his cousin transferred to my school, I was like, okay, we got a little connection. Like your cousin is dating my cousin. Oh, and mind you, I. I had met Robert months and months before he even transferred to the school because like I said, my cousin used to date his cousin. So one time we hung out and he was real cool. So when he transferred, I was like, we got a little connection there. Like I feel like I'll get a little bit more respect hanging out with more of the straight boys. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but I noticed real fast that he did not care about none of that. He was like, no, I'm not hanging out with no gay boy. Like stop. And he left me in the dust to fit into the status quo. So I was like, okay, okay. You know what? L's and L. Like I really don't care. Like his buddy.
molesting. Robert had so many problems, like not like he was crazy or nothing, but he was just one of them kids that was always into some shit. I'm pretty sure he had sex with like a teacher or a counselor at another school. I'm pretty sure that happened. Actually, I know it happened. And I remember everyone was just like, um, <laughs> What's going on over here? He ended up getting that rep of that kid that just didn't care. Like he came to school because like legally he had to or they was gonna take his mama to jail. And so he used to, we used to have Facebook. This is one Facebook with girl popping, right y'all? And I wasn't allowed to have a Facebook. So even me being on this app was, you know, treacherous. Because if Monique found out I had Facebook, it was that ass. That ass was about to be leather. And I remember like as the school year went on, me and Robert literally never had any problems. You can just tell he did not really mess with me because I was clearly fruity. And I'm I remember like boys will always ask me the most intruding questions like like do you touch yourself or watch this do you do that I would just be like what do you like you sound gayer than me what you want to know for and obviously I was just not telling the answers and I feel like it was doing nothing but feed into their ego of like yeah man's is definitely gay mind you so I had this group of friends right like, you know in middle school when they'd be like oh this is my brother this is my sister like sister look you know you be real close with one person you call, start calling their mom your mom and stuff so that was like my of friends and we gonna name them i'm not saying these hoes names like no it's not going down <laughs> call him Des and them, right? So Des and them was, you know, I thought my, one of my closest friends, like they will always try to have my back, but then you know what, low key they didn't though, like low key they didn't. Y'all know why, like I wasn't allowed to watch TV, I wasn't allowed to go out the room and really do nothing, like I wasn't allowed to do like anything, like I was just in there solitary confinement reading books and shit, that shit did not be fun. So I would come to school all happy, all jittery, like what's up, like let's turn up, it's 7 a.m., like where's the hot Cheetos? And I understand why they wouldn't be like in the mood to talk like that, but it was like I'm not doing nothing for y'all to be sitting here ignoring me or being mad rude for it. It wouldn't be like just ignoring me. I would change the subject or I'd be quiet and then I'd be like, oh, like, do you guys, like, what, like, y'all want to talk about Fetty Whopper? Whatever was popular back then. And they would dead just be rolling their eyes. So I started feeling like, I did, this is why I said my social started starting to be a little bit like, you know, developing. Because at this point, it's just like, y'all been fake friends since elementary school. Like, these kids used to really, like, attack me for no reason. And then as we got older, you know, like, by sixth grade, y'all thought y'all was cool. Seventh grade, I thought y'all was cool. But then, you know, it would just be little stuff like this. Like, I just felt like no one really respected me because I was gay. I remember when every time they would get in a fight, even when I knew I wasn't I would support them. I'd be like, let's go. Like, we're about to whoop this bitch ass. Like, who won it first? I got to make a flight or what? Like, I'm down the street. What's good? And they never kind of returned that energy to me. So this is when Facebook was popular, and I was not allowed to have that shit. So one of my friends on Facebook was Robert, right? And he had made a Facebook status basically saying, and this was so late one night, like this was so random. Like I'm about to go to bed. I'm just trying to keep with everybody on the statuses. He was basically saying something just how he hates, like how don't do something to him and he deserves the best and with the with the move like you got a hundred missing assignments you deserve a diploma try to get that first what are you doing trying to talk about what the bitch is not doing and so he was just being real like crazy on like the women and i was just like okay let me make a joke like because everyone in the comments was laughing kid why can't i do it so i had made a comment like why are you always on here turning up laughing my ass up you're crazy as fuck robert did not like that when i tell y'all i closed the facebook app try to go to sleep woke back up like not even woke back up but just was like okay fuck it let me just cave in go back on my phone 15 minutes later tops bad notification this is when like 40 notifications was a lot for me so i was like oh my god I like Am I going viral? I'm looking at the notifications. It's just mad replies to me. I'm just looking through them. And it's just like all laughing emojis, the eye emojis, like fighting emojis. I click on my reply to the status. This Robert was so heated, y'all. He was like, and why your ass is always hanging out with two you? Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, wait, our cousins date. Like, I thought we was best friends. The what are you yelling at me for? I had to address it because you just don't let someone talk to you like that. Like, I'm sorry, there's no way I could let him talk to me like that and all them people see and I not at least say something. You know, I had to get ready for tomorrow because I knew I was about to get ridiculed. Like, oh, Robert said this, you not about to fight him? Man, bitch, you know I pressed him, look it. <laughs> so I text him something that, you know, I could kind of like throw a rock and hide my hand and be like, I was just hitting him up trying to be cool. Like, I don't even know what he's beefing about. And I had basically said, bro, you got me fucked up. And I used G-M-F-U-U-U-U. -U -U -U. And then I did the laugh emoji so you know you can be like you can kind of paint that as like oh he was just laughing it off but really i was laughing at you got you gagged you i was like why'd you say that about me i thought we was cool and da -da 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 -da. you know when you text the privately and she call you right after it just smoke it's smoke if i dm you and you call me it's smoke bitch i know it's both I didn't answer the call. Like, no, I'm not answering. Like, you're not about to cuss me out. I got to whisper my parents' room right down the hallway. He's basically telling me how I have a lot of more gay b And he was basically how he was about to shoot me. And on the hood, I better not come to school tomorrow. I'm like, on the hood? 
and he was talking about some when I see you, we're about to run it. Like, you know, when bitch, oh my god, like, so I'm not gonna lie, I tried to escalate the situation mad quick. I was joking, like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, and he wasn't having none of that. Told me when he see me tomorrow, it is on site. <laughs> okay, now watch this. Watch how you don't see me tomorrow. So I came up with a plan to just hide from him. <laughs> you can't fight somebody. It can't be on site if you don't see me. There's no sight. I go straight to class. I Oh my God. I remember he caught me lacking so bad. It was my second period, right? My first period, I went straight to class. Like, I wasn't even going to be in the hallways, like, talking to nobody. I don't got time to keep. Mm -mm. This is the, like, this would be the third time I got pressed in the hallway. Class was literally right next door. I literally just had to go, boop, right there. I get in there. I literally forgot that he was trying to press me, you know, just being happy that I'm out the house. So why does my uppity ass get up? walk into the hallway just trying to you know key and laugh with people da -da -da. and i hear the bell ring so i was like oh bye y'all like i'm about to go turn up and say get period with miss robinson i start walking to the class i hear hey marquise I forgot it was on site. <laughs> I was like, I'm not fighting you, Robert. Like, I'm not fighting right here. If you want to fight me, fight me after school. I'm not fighting you at school. Like, you're dumb ghetto. Like, I'm not fighting. I didn't say dumb ghetto. I didn't learn that time at Ricky. You're hella ghetto. Like, leave me alone. When that bottom lick is tucked out, you know she don't want to fight. Leave me alone because I'm not fighting you here. Like, but he started calling me scary. I was like, I'll be scary. I'll be scary, but I won't be scary at 2 p.m. though. No one I was about to hide. Like, no one I wasn't about to see him at 2.10. I walked back into the class that next period. Now, this is where it got a little, a little treacherous. I had to go on the whole opposite half inside of the school like it was literally on the whole opposite corner of the school and his class was on that side so he could just cut me off so i had to figure out am i gonna go the long way or am i gonna try to go the short way and blitz so i was like you know what short way is the best i know he's probably waiting outside for me some way so i'm gonna take the back door walk through the front by the main office and then i'm gonna cut in through that main office door gag you Sir, you can't beat me, bitch. I'm scary. Why as I'm leaving, I go outside, right? Walk past the main office, knowing that he's waiting for me somewhere in like the seventh grade pod hallway. Cut into the main office. You over here, baby. I'm down here. <laughs> you can't get me. I run into one of my friends. Her name was Aaliyah. That was my kryptonite, like real shit. Because he, like, if it wasn't for me cracking jokes with her, I, I, I just, I'm so easily forgettable by my plan. Like you supposed to be going into gym so you don't get that ass tore up. What are you doing talking to Aaliyah for? All I hear, oh my God, y'all. Like this felt like something out of like a scary movie. Hey Marquise. I turn around and my, he was mad tall. Like, you could just see his head peeking over and looking at this ocean of children. I literally tried to like duck down. He saw me. I could literally hear like kids getting like mad because he's pushing through them trying to come get to me. I break to the gym. Not even having a plan because I wasn't really like a snitch though. Like I would just rather just like not fight. But if we have to fight, I'm just going to be like damn because I couldn't afford to get into more trouble at home, bro. I get into the gym. I run straight to my teacher and I'm just looking at him and I just don't know what to say because I really do not want to have to snitch. And he's like, what do you, like, what do you want? Like, what are you doing? And then Robert walks in and he goes, oh my God, bro. Yeah, you're not touching me. So after class period is over, we're walking back and the teacher's asking me, like, basically for the story. I just tell him and he's like, okay, I'm gonna let the principal know. And I was like, okay, bet, thank you. The whole rest of the day, I don't remember seeing this boy at all. Like, I low-key thought he got, like, suspended or he got, like, in-school suspension. So he wasn't even allowed to come out this specific room in the school unless he was going to lunch. And I remember I ended up talking to the principal and she was asking me, like, what happened. I'm telling the principal, basically, I was on Facebook. He made this status. I said this. I didn't want there to be any drama. So, I, you know, I didn't want to get in trouble and I couldn't afford for her to be like okay we're gonna have to tell your parents about this because I'm not supposed to have Facebook no way so what are you doing arguing with on Facebook. She completely understood and I told her I was like, I'm not supposed to have Facebook. Like, I really don't want to tell my parents about this. I promise you me and this boy will not fight. Please do not tell my parents. And she agreed to not do it. So, I was like, bet, I just gotta ignore him for another, like, month or two and we gonna be in there. So, it's that last clear of the day, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. We made it this far. No distractions. I had to be home because I had to be home in a certain amount of time or it was, I had to do all them push-ups. I don't know if y'all remember when I told y'all that. As the last period starts, I was like, I'm not talking to nobody. I have tunnel vision. You're going straight Home. I was friends with this boy named Thomas at the time and I told Thomas about it I was like, can you please walk home with me? Like I don't really want to be walking home by myself We started walking home and we're walking mad quick like I'm kind of like but well, damn I kind of finesse that I just gotta do that for another 80 days and I'll be good Mind you remember that friend group I told you about Des and them I told them about the whole situation also They told me they were not gonna let anything happen to me that I was gonna be good They was gonna stick with me. I see these bitches all day. Where were you bitches at? Y'all as I'm walking think I'm literally like a few feet away from this neighborhood I got turned to to take the shortcut home. I just hear my name being y'all I look back, the whole school is running towards me. And I see Robert's big ass jump over the fence and run to me. And he was so tall. Remember I told you he was mad tall. So his run was like them skips. Like, you know, he was hitting them hoes with one of these. Like, he was excited to get to me. Like, 
Oh, this is a game to you, bro. Like, I just want to go home. Had to get into my first altercation because of this. And honestly, I feel like it was real avoidable. Like, you didn't really, you weren't that mad. Like, you just thought I was pussy because I was gay. Which is true. But you thought I was going to lose because I was gay. And that was your first mistake. So, Robert catches up to me mad quick. Like, it felt like 10 steps with his long foot. So we're on the main, like, we're on the sidewalk right by the main road. Cars are passing us trying to get their kids home. And I literally just hear adults literally telling me, like, stop being scary. Like, don't let him pressure. Don't let him talk to you like that. And, like, da 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 Mans was towering over, like, literally, like, if I was standing up, like, right now, let's say, like, this is my middle school height. Robert was, like, this to me. And this is his chin. This is Mans chin. So I'm just sitting there talking my shit. I'm knowing that we're about to fight and so I'm trying to like walk away I'm like hopefully one of these white people see this hood rat shit and call the police So at this point we're in this part of the neighborhood like it's kind of ducked off from the main road and everyone is surrounding me And mind you, remember I told you I got pressed before so there was this girl right we're like we're cool now But the time we wasn't cool she would always say a little shit about me being gay And so one day I had said something to her and it blew her so bad The whole reason why we was arguing was one day she got drunk and she told everyone that I told her that her boyfriend cheated on her I was like what? Like, stay off the four loco. So she asked that bunch of shit about me being gay, and I was like, okay, that's why your boyfriend don't love you, bitch. <laughs> so she's there recording, and I'm telling everyone, like, I need to get home. Like, y'all cutting into a hard ass whooping that might happen to me. But I'm not fighting you. Like, it's not happening. You're stupid. Like, you're arguing over nothing, right? No one, I was just scary. Like, he low key shouldn't be my ass. So I'm like, girl, don't I gotta be home? Don't I gotta be home? This bitch gonna say, I don't know. I don't know what you gotta do. Ass, bitch. I don't know what you gotta do. Looks like you need a square up. Okay, I'm like, you know, where are my friends at? Where's Des and them? These bitches gone. I'm like, wow. So one of my friends was like, Marquise, you just need to fight him. Like, just get it over with, bro. Just fight him. I'm like, bro, like, you do not give a about me in this show. And mind you, no one at the school really respected me clearly because there were people that I would be laughing with in class that literally told, like, had my back for the situation to be telling me, like, oh, just don't worry about it, ignore it, don't let it happen, and then be at this fight recording me. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I've never known, like, a good relationship with anybody. That's why the friends I have now, I hold very, very, very close. The ones that, like, do weird shit to me, I take it very, very, very personal because I would never do something to you like that. Like, I'm very big on loyalty, and if I get something done to me that I would never do to them, it hurts my feelings to a different level, so that's why I just cut bitches off. It's so easy for me to be like, bye. <laughs> Do this. So he walks up to me and he pushes me back. And I'm not gonna lie, he was skinny, so I didn't think the push was gonna really have that much like power to it, but it kind of made me stumble because we was kind of going down a hill. I was like, don't touch me. <laughs> he said, push me a little harder. And I was like, okay, I got two options. Go out like a punk bitch or go out like a real bitch. You might lose this fight. You know, that those first two hits was really a test of his power. I needed to see what that muscle density was looking like. So basically, my middle school gave us laptop cases, right? And we had our laptops, and they used to be in these big-ass laptop cases, right? I had my backpack on this arm. It was, it was low-key kind of perfect. So I didn't have to suddenly put my backpack off and he get ready to fight. I could just knock his ass out, right? With one swoop. Right in that jaw. Right in that jaw with that laptop cat. All you hear is, ooh. And as soon as his head flew back like this, I just pushed his ass. He fell on the floor. And I got, I picked that because I had, I had to put the laptop down. But I just kind of had to drop the laptop when I pushed him. Pushed that mat. So it was like, boom. He was like, pushed his ass back. He fell down. I got on top of him with that laptop and whooped his ass with that damn laptop case y'all and it was a liberating moment now at this point he started like hitting me back he's on the floor trying to like you know defend himself he's trying to get me off of him but i'm like i cannot let this get me off of him because if he gets up i might go down and not get back up and my job starting to gain a little bit of weight around this time so i was like yeah i don't know if you're going nowhere bro i just have to sit there and take that l this time but i was scared because i was like what did he hit me with one of these where he's like laying down like this and he's fighting and then he goes now, that would be scary. Everyone's just getting mad close to the fight. So I'm like, bro, like, back up. Because I'm trying to hit him with my laptop. And it's just not like there's mad around this recording. So then I just dropped the laptop. And I just started hitting him in the face. And I didn't know how to fight. Remember, I told y'all, like, now, if I was, I, like, I would just really be, I would just be piecing his shit in. Oh, I would just be fucking the girl. But at the time, I used to watch a lot of Bear Girls Club. And I only knew to fight like that. So I was, and yes, I was pulling the hair. I don't care. And I was just talking. Oh, I was just talking. 
and calm down. <laughs> I literally did not stop until like he was bleeding. I was like, I need to make sure that he is hurt. I'm not one of them stupid ass people in the movies where, you know, they shoot the killer or something and think it's dead, they turn around. No, I'm a, <laughs> I'm gonna empty the clip. I'm gonna aim it for right here, but in that bridge of that nose, I'm not going back without the kill. I, for, I mean that. So people are trying to get me up off of him and they're like, stop, let him get his fair ones. Let him get his fair ones. And I'm like, nah, fuck that. Start kicking. No one wanted me to get my fair ones. Did nobody care about Keys? Did nobody care about Marquise? If that was me on that floor, I would have been dying about that shit. I admit it. Yes, I had an advantage, but did I really? You're this much taller than me. Like you're this. You you got facial hair. I ain't got no hair on my nuts yet. Like what? This is really. I really was really just protecting myself. And he was feeling it. Like everyone just was feeling it with him. Like he was the cool kid who didn't have to turn his homework in, who could smoke, who could drink, who was driving his, you know, family's cars and. Play basketball because he was mad tall. Mind you, you're not even varsity. I played football and I was starting on offense and defense. Like, what's up? <laughs> so I feel like people just went in gunning for him. And also being the gay boy, like, bruh, like, no one really cares. So I didn't, I wasn't hearing none of that. Like, no, I'm not letting him get up. No, he's not getting no fair ones. This is what happens when you try to punch they gonna hit you back. Like, what? So after I kicked him, I didn't kick him in the face. I wish I did, but it was just like right here on his chest. Put my backpack on, me and Thomas, and I forgot who was else was with us, but it was another boy with me and Thomas. And I've never been the type of person to let people know where my like house is because I don't know, I'm just not that type of person to want people at my house. And I was like, bro, everyone's obviously mad fake. None of these people are my friends. So what if someone just ends up knowing my address because I did end up giving it to them and then now he's at my door trying to fight. And I'm not fighting in my neighborhood. Like, you will get the cops calling you. Now, it's like, you come to my door, you're getting killed. Come right here if you want get dropped. I walked home mad fast. Thomas and them lived in one of the apartments down the hill, so I was always like the first one to leave, so they just walked together. And I remember I was like crying, cause I was like, bro, like I'm about to get home and get in mad trouble. Like I just know I'm late. They were telling me like, yeah, bro, you're, we're not even gonna tell you the time. Like you're definitely late. I get home, my stepdad's not there, so I try to be good, get inside the house. I'm like, you know, maybe I can just lie. But I forgot we had an alarm system, so it was gonna tell you how late I was. My job was like 10 minutes late, like they was dragging it. So I was prepared to be like, listen, I got in a fight. Like that's why I was late. Don't be mad at me. Da, 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 da. So he ends up coming back home later, and I walked into his room when he got home, and I was like, I might get suspended tomorrow. <laughs> and walked off like, who are you? He said, wait, what? Come back. I told him basically everything that happened, but I didn't tell him that happened on Facebook. Like, I was just like, he was being rude to me all the time, saying this, this, and that, and he wants to fight me because I defended myself or I like checked him about it. And he told me that if I need to fight that boy, then I need to fight him, but don't be sitting here trying to just go make problems, da, 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 da. and I was like, right. Everybody was obviously posting the fighting video. I was mad embarrassed. I ended up just like disabling my Facebook because yes, I whooped that ass, but I did not want to like keep hearing like ridicule. And mind you, I was like, if his cousin want to fight me, it's over for me. So let me tell you about Des and them, right? Why as I'm just on, Insta, I'm just on Snapchat, these bitches posted up in a picture talking about some family. I was fighting for my life. Where were you at? And it just kind of showed me that no one really cared about me. Like, I already felt like no one cared about me, period. But, like, now I know, like, y'all do not care about me. And Des actually ended up outing me. She was the first person I ever came out to about being gay. And she outed me to a bunch of other people. So, that was kind of where I, like, washed my hands with her. She be trying to hang out nowadays because I'm, like, you know, I ran that cloud up. And I was always the person they never expected to, like, really, like, have followers. Like, I remember they caught me buying likes and and they just would not let that shit go. I didn't learn until years later how to love myself and to stop being scary. Actually, no, I learned after that situation stop being scary. Any other b who tried that week with me, like that ass tore up. Now, there was that like one time I got jumped, I caught two of them hoes lacking and whooped both they ass. So yeah, anyway, like I was saying, Robert would always try to come up to me when I was with my friends, you know, Des and them, and he'd be like, so what are you doing after school today? How about you let that nose heal? Cause I fucked you up. You got cuts all right here. Like you was French kissing a blender. So I would tell him like, we can fight after school. I'm not worried. Like you already saw what happened last time. And he knew not to put his hands on me cause I still had that, I did keep that laptop case on me. Um, we never ended up fighting after that. And he in jail now and a video actually went viral on him on Facebook getting beat up by one of his ops. So, so yeah, that's really about it, y'all. I feel like I'm getting better at my story times. I feel like I'm starting to be a little bit more energetic the whole time. I'm starting to give more substance in my videos. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm learning, I'm learning and shit. What is y'all's opinion on this? Like, what is it like, did y'all always imagine me as a scary be for real. And if you say yes, like, why? I don't know, I feel like I never gave off scary vibes. I feel like I just always gave off childish vibes, but bitch, I've always been ready. Since y'all met me, I've been ready to get in that field with anybody. So I'm really curious to see if this story kind of gags y'all, or you're like, nah, you look like a scary bitch. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on all my social medias. They'll be tagged down below. We are almost at 40K on Instagram. We just hit 750K on TikTok. And let me go check right now. I believe we're at 52. We're at 53.1K. Oh my God, y'all. That's almost at 60 and 60. This is my breakdown, right? I'm basically at like 100K if you really think about it because I'm seven away from 60. And 60 is like 65, which is basically 70. 70 is... 
80. Once you get to 80, like, it's just gonna keep going, go, going, go, going. I'm at 95, 95, I'm at 100,000. I have literally wanted to be an entertainer, like an influencer, like famous. Even before, like, social media was a really big thing. I always wanted to do, like, dance, singing, acting. Like, that's always been, like, one of my dreams. And I feel like you guys are helping me make that possible. And I love you guys so much. So, 100K, like, oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine. Y'all think we can hit 100K before my birthday? Cause you gotta manifest and we gotta try and we gotta try to, you know, get there. Our goal is to get at least 93K, but we're pushing, we're, we're going for 100K. Hey Siri, how many days is it until January 24th? Oh, uh, you don't talk now? Hey Siri, how many days is it until January 24th? It's 215 days until then. How many days is it until January 24th, 2023? It's 34 days until then. 34 days. We need 100K. We're at 53. So that's 46,900 subscribers in 34 days, which means I need to be growing by 1,300 subscribers every single day for the next month. So January... We gotta go hard. Y'all, I need y'all to share, share, share this video. I need y'all to post about it on your Instagram stories. Tag me, I will be reposting y'all stories. Follow me on my Instagram, follow me on my TikTok, follow me on my Twitter. We're getting real active on all of those, actually, and we're kinda lit over there, no shame. Love you guys so much. Let's see if we can hit this 100K by my birthday. That would be literally, like, I would literally, like, cry. Like, oh my god, I would literally cry. Post this on TikTok, too. I still record this post on TikTok. We getting the word now. Peace to 100K party. Love you guys so much. See you guys next week for another, I, I might be too late. I might try to post twice this week. You're Right I'm not. <laughs> love y'all, love y'all, love y'all. I look so pretty. Follow my Instagram. Keys to 100K party. Keys to 100K party. Keys to 100K party. Love y'all. Bye. Bye. That's it. So much thank you for all the support. Um, I don't really have time to like put a clip from the old video, and so I'm just gonna put this. Merry Christmas, love you guys, and yeah, check out the deuces, check out the deuces.